All right, guys, my name is Sophia, and Ezekiel has made some short movie clips using AI that I want to show you. First of all, yes, I made an amazing short action film using complete AI. Now I want to show you the main part of the movie. Let's play. Slumbering giants should never stir. Yet against all odds, they did. We've awakened them. Now the world will never be the same. The best part is that you can create a video just like this right from your computer using the tools we demonstrate in this video. Everything from the dialogue to the visuals and music was crafted with AI. In this video, I'll guide you through the exact steps Ezekiel took to create this cinematic masterpiece. Now, let me introduce you to the AI platform that will blow your mind when you see the final result. As I explored this platform, I noticed a remarkable feature, character control. This means that you have full control over how your character moves and acts in the video. Whether it's raising a hand, jumping, or striking any pose, it's all at your command. All you need to do is upload your story script, and Catalyst AI creates stunning film scenes. Now, let me show you exactly how Ezekiel do this. After watching this video carefully, you'll need to click the link in the description. This will take you to the platform where you'll discover a lot of amazing features. But for now, let's focus on getting started. You'll land on a page that's dedicated to scripting. As you can see, it prompts you with the question, what story will you tell today? You can generate a short film story using ChatGPT, or you can simply click Paste from Clipboard and insert your ChatGPT written story. Alternatively, you can upload your script in CSV, PDF, or TXT format by clicking the corresponding option. However, I prefer to use Catalyst AI's own AI script assistant. On the right side, you'll see a box where you just need to paste your story idea. For instance, I'm going to paste an idea I have in mind. A medieval knight fights a Dracarax to save his village from ruin. You'll notice a line that reads, Provide an idea, and our AI script assistant will generate a full script for you, bringing your concepts to life. Once you're ready, click Generate Script, and watch as your idea transforms into a fully fleshed out script. So, now you can see the story brief generated by AI. This is the idea I pasted earlier, and here's the script breakdown. If you want to understand the quality of the story, feel free to pause the video and read through the script created by Catalyst AI's eye. If you're satisfied with this breakdown, you can click Next. However, if you want to make any changes to the script, just click the pencil icon to edit it. Now I'll click Next. We've now landed on the settings page. Here you'll find options for the project name and aspect ratio. I'm choosing Landscape 16.9 because I plan to upload this video to YouTube. You also have the option to create Instagram shorts or story style videos, but I'll stick with Landscape. Next, you'll need to select Art Style. You'll find various options like Sketch, Cinematic, Oil Painting, Comic Book, Cartoon, and Pixel Art. I'm going with Cinematic because I'm making a short film. Let me give you a money-making tip. You can create a cartoon YouTube channel, make cartoon videos using Catalyst AIs, and earn money that way. On the right side, you'll see the cast section. As I mentioned earlier, our short story film features a medieval knight who fights a Dracarax to save his village from ruin. This means the character here represents our knight. By clicking the pencil icon, you can swap out this character for one with a different age or category. If you want to upload your own custom character, click on My Characters on the right side. Now, simply click on the plus icon. Here, you can generate your character by describing their appearance in one sentence. An example is provided for guidance. However, I'll stick with the AI-generated character as it looks suitable and fits my story. Now, I'll click Create Project. You can see that our scene is now being generated. Now, you can see that our scenes are ready as per our script breakdown and topic. 
Let's suppose you want to add a new scene after the second scene. Simply hover the mouse between the two scenes and you'll see a plus icon fade in. Click on it and you'll see our third scene move down and a new box will open where you can generate a new scene. For example, I want to generate a dark weather scene because in the third scene, a monster appears. After the monster arrives, I want a dark weather setting. So I click here and write a script for the next scene. You can see, if you read this carefully, I describe bad weather before Dracarax arrives. Then I click Generate. Now, as you can see, the prompt is encoding and the scene is generated. You'll notice that this is an image, not a video. Simply click here to convert the image scene into a video. However, I click again to convert it back to an image because I want to edit more things to improve this scene. For example, the poses look simple in the same photograph, so I click on the edit option. Here, you can see multiple options. I click the posing icon, and you can see some dots appear. Now, you can use the character posing tool. Click on a node to select a character and double click to move the character's limbs. I double click on my character and move the hands as you can see on my screen, changing the position of the hand dots. After adjusting all the character dots correctly, click Generate. Now you can see that many new poses are generated at the bottom, and it looks like our character is holding something. If I click the Fill option and brush near the hand, as you can see on my screen, I write Knife in the prompt box and click generate. Now it looks like our character is holding a knife to fight the monster. If I go back and click on the first scene's edit icon, you can see multiple options like angle, which means you can change the camera angles like shot from below and click generate to see the results. Wow, amazing. Next is shot, close shot, medium shot, long shot. You can change your shots. You can also change the action of your character. Here it asks, what do you want to see? And you can see the prompt. Okay, let's change soft light filtering to dark light filtering and click generate. Now you can see some dark cinematic scenes. If I click this option, it converts the scene into a video and you can see how perfectly it looks now. You can change many things here, like video motion. Let's click this right option and go back. You can see that our new story is almost ready. Finally, if I click Export Video, the export process starts, and as you can see on my screen, it's downloaded. Let's open and play it one time. Amazing! Although, I still need to add background music, a voiceover using Eleven Labs, and do a bit of editing with other software, I'm excited to see how Catalyst AI's upcoming features will simplify this process. The new access will allow users to add music, sound effects, dialogue, and AI voiceovers directly in the editing timeline. Just imagine seeing all your scenes and voiceovers in one place. It's amazing. At the end of my video, I'll highlight how Catalyst AI is revolutionizing storyboarding for filming. You'll be able to export your projects in multiple formats, image files, PowerPoint slides, video, and more. Plus, if you encounter any issues, their support team is just a click away via the chat function. So. Be sure to check out the link in my description to explore this incredible AI tool and discover all it has to offer.